in today's class let us try to understand on the topic of cost output relationship in the short term see time element play an important role in price discrimination of a firm during the short period there are two important factors are implied one is fixed factor another one is variable factor my dear student in the process of production we need to understand there are two kinds of factors of production are involved that is fixed factors and variable factors so in the short term fixed factor remain fixed factor of production remain constant there will be no change on fixed factor of production but only variable factor of production can be increased with the variable factors of production increase the output also subjected to get change the variable factor uh, factor can be increased in the short term which in turn all the other factors cannot be varied so here what are the variable factors the important variable factors that is a raw material semi finished materials unskilled labor energy or variable input which can be changed during the short run period which means to say that in the short term the semi finished material unskilled labor energy raw material only these things can be changed the machine capital infrastructure salaries of manager technical experts are included in the fixed input during the short period an individual firm can change a variable factors of production according to the requirement of the production while fixed factors of production cannot be changed since already i told in the shop in the uh, in the product in the process of output in the process of production there are mainly two kinds of factors that is uh, in uh, the, there is the uh, fixed factors and variable factors only variable factors can be varied in the short term but fixed factors cannot be varied in the short term in the short term in this connection the cost output relationship is like this the greater output the lesser fixed cost per unit so here in the short term remember all of you though there is an expansion of output in a maximum quantity but there is a lesser fixed cost per unit of output why there is a lesser fixed cost per unit of output in the long run because the average cost the average cost uh, is seems to be fixed and remain the same do not change with the change of output in the short term that is fixed cost curve which remains remains same in the short term so the relationship between output and fixed cost is universally one for all types of business thus the average fixed cost follow continuously as output rises remember in the short term average fixed cost follow falls continuously as output increases the reason why total fixed cost remain the same the total average fixed cost falls that certain factors are invisible in individually means that if a similar output is to be produced the factors cannot be used in a smaller quantity this is to be used as whole i think all of you understand here in, during the short period the though there is an increase in the larger quantity of output the fixed factor the fi average fixed cost per unit uh, seems to be seems to be uh, continuously uh, con continuously always lesser in lesser in so here Uh, the average variable cost and output how it going to be relates so that let us try to understand 
the average variable cost the average variable cost where how do we get the average variable cost average variable cost we can get the total variable cost divided by quantities of output produced that is average variable cost which is equal to pvc divided by q see the average variable cost will first fall then rise more and more units are produced in a given plant this is so because as we add more units of variable factors in a fixed plant the efficiency of inputs first increases then decreases so here the average efficiency of the plant first increases then decreases in fact the variable factor tends to be produced somehow more efficiency in your firm optimum output than very low levels of output this is how we need to understand the average variable cost behavior with the average variable cost and output but once the optimum capacity is reached any further increasing in the output undoubtedly there is increasing in the average variable cost average variable cost so the quite sharply greater output can be obtained but much greater average variable cost for example if more and more workers are appointed it may be ultimately leads to overcrowding and bad organization so moreover workers may have to be paid higher wages for their overtime so this is how the average variable cost and output which we can come across the meaning so already i told the definition of average variable cost and how do we obtain it then average and total average total cost and output average total cost and output how it is going to be uh, react the average total cost is more commonly known as average cost average total cost is more commonly known as total cost average cost what do you mean by average cost how do we obtain the average cost average cost we can obtain that is total cost divided by the units of quantity is produced will decline for the average cost will decline fast then it rises upward the significant point to note here that the turning point of the case where average cost comes to a little uh, later than case of average variable cost here average cost constant consists of average fixed cost plus average variable cost remember the average cost consists of average fixed cost and average variable cost as we seen average fixed cost continues to fall with increasing in the output since already we understand with average variable cost first decline then it rises remember with this average variable cost first decline then it rises so long as so as long as the average variable cost declines average variable cost declines the average total cost will be declined but after the point of average variable cost it will rise hence if it rise the variable cost is less than the drop in the fixed cost average total cost will also to be continue to decline this is the relationship which we can come across in the case of uh, in the case of average uh, cost and output so it is only when the rise in the average variable cost is more than the drop in average fixed cost that the average total cost will show rise thus there will be a, a stage where the average variable cost may have started uh, rising and another total cost is still declining because of raising the average variable cost is less than the drop is an average fixed cost the net effect being decline declined in a in average cost the the least cost output level is the level where the average total cost is a minimum not the average variable cost in fact that least cost output level the average variable cost will be more than uh, more than its minimum average variable cost the least cost input level is also to be 
optimum output level it may not be the maximum output level a firm may be uh, decide to produce more than the unit lease uh, our least or least cost output level so yeah the short term output and cost curve how it will behave when we understand this the short term output relationship can also shown the uh, 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 this uh, following diagram it will be seen in the average fixed cost curve that is afc falls as output rises from the lower levels higher level the shape of the average fixed cost curve is always rectangular hyperbola however the average uh, average variable cost that is avc start rising earlier than atc average uh, curve average total curve uh, further the least cost level of output corresponds to the point on the atc curve and not the point not the point at lv which lies on the avc curve here we need to remember so that it, uh, we we need to remember so that is average 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 variable cost and average total cost uh, average total cost will be intersected by the marginal cost curve at the lowest point okay when marginal cost curve intersecting point the average cost and average uh, average variable cost will pulls down the average cost another a very important points to note that in the uh, the marginal cost uh, intersect with the avc curve and atc curve at the point of minimum point remember avc and afc will intersect of the point minimum point mc will intersect avc and atc at the minimum point it will pulls down the simple expression marginal cost is less than the average cost marginal cost is always less than the average cost it will pulls down the ac ac down if the mc is greater than the ac then it will be pulls ac up so that is if yeah, in case if mc if it uppers yeah, if mc uppers obviously the average total cost the average uh, the average cost and average variable cost it will get pulls up okay if it is less if it is pulls down if it is goes up it pulls up this is the relationship we need to understand in relation to hat in relation to it it will neither pulls ac up nor down as mc curve tends to be intersect the ac curve at the lowest point at the lowest point similar to the position of the above average variable cost curve it will not make an difference whether mc is going up or down that is the lowest point lowest cost uh, that is la longer than where that is lv is the lowest point at the variable cost the interrelationship among the avc atc average total cost that is ac that is afc can be uh, summarized as follows in both average fixed cost and average variable cost falls and atc will also fall in case average fixed cost curve and average variable cost curves if it falls average total cost will also fall in case average fixed cost falls but avc rises if only average fixed cost fall average variable cost will rises will rises that is atc will fall where the drop in average fixed cost more than it rises in the avc then atc will not fall where drop in afc which is equal to rise in the which is equal to rise in the average variable cost this is the relationship between the short term and output so this is how thing is i would like to remember you all the following points to remember i will uh, see to it the point the, these four points you are required to be keep in mind so here the short term cost and output relationship will be explained very importantly by this following point point number 1 the short term only 
the variable factors can be varied all fixed factors cannot be varied that's one thing second point is in the in the short term though there is an increasing in the units of output average fixed cost average fixed cost per unit is expected to go down average fixed cost expenses is expected to go down at the same time uh, the mc curve mc curve will intersect the average 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 variable cost and uh, average cost curve at the minimum point average fixed cost curve sorry mc curve marginal cost curve will intersect the average average curve and average variable cost at the minimum point once the mc rises average average cost curve and average variable cost curve are start rising are start rising if only mc rises uh, if only mc rises the average fixed cost curve is expected to decline afc falls average average variable cost is also rises so these are the important points you are required to be keep in mind in the short term cost and output relationship cost and output relationship so this is how where all of you are required to be keep in mind okay